Because you know what's been on my mind? What? Self-development, uh, making yourself a better person in order to serve the common good, your fellow man. Um, so we're talking about self-care and self-love. Self-nurturing, mm -hmm. self-love, therapy, bath therapy, mm -hmm. Reiki, acupuncture, mm -hmm. you name it, you've done it. Okay, well I can do that. I remember you saying to me that writing for you is the real passion something that has a therapeutic um, effect on your life. Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, I was a human being. No, I wasn't. I was a human doing rather than a human being. Um, so I was just not really experiencing any kind of self-love or self-care because I was always on the go and I still struggle with that. Um, yeah. Because that's my thing, to keep on the move so I don't have to sit and be with what's really going on. Uh -huh. And so I've done a lot of therapy and work around just sitting with my feelings and experiencing my loneliness or my sadness or whatever that is, yeah. rather than running away from it. Because I think many of us spend a lot of our lives either medicating our feelings through drugs or drink or whatever. Or for me, it was more just um, just running away from them, like just constantly being in action, which is a struggle for some people. For other people are um, more served by being in the action all the time because they have the opposite struggle. But for me, it's a matter of slowing down and being still and being in my body and aware. And from that space, then I get to write. Was it a gradual process of thoughts or how did that, how did you come to that realization? Well, when I was in my early 30s, I um, was very involved in the horse stuff and I was riding and jumping horses and I was sponsored and I competed various countries and my, that was my passion and then I was realizing what an adrenaline junkie I'd become because I would be working all week um, as a lawyer and then I would be at lunchtime running out to ride a couple of horses and then in the evenings and then at the weekends I'd be competing and I began therapy and um, realized that I needed and wanted to slow down and then I really thought about what I wanted to do secretly, which was right, and I'd never quite been brave enough to do it. And so I gradually phased out of the, the horse stuff, now eased into, into writing, and I really found that that was a much healthier passion for me, and it really encouraged me to be still and thoughtful and uh, explore kind of my inner self rather than my grasping things from the outside. How do you find your writing connects with your soul? I'm more interested in now sort of leaning in and being open and opening myself and my heart and my mind to be available and um, aware and compassionate. Mm -hmm. And I also think it's environmental. When I think of the East Coast of the States, it's, it's, it feels very much closed in, it's much more treed and, um, and forested and it's, there's an openness here that I think the West provides in, on this continent and um, I, I think it's a place that, you know, there are so many opportunities here to go to the, to the dark side or the light side, you know, the LA presents the best and worst of everything and people often come here for the wrong reasons and then find that they, they have, in order to survive, they have to head towards something that is nurturing and self-loving, whether it be some kind of spiritual practice or yoga or meditation or therapy or a 12-step program, or there is a myriad of opportunities here to um, change and, and it seems to be okay to be a hybrid, to be a lawyer who writes or yeah. this and that. I think it's really interesting what you say because people do come here to, for validation, mm -hmm. for celebrity, fame, mm -hmm. um, for uh, ambition, money. I think people often come here searching for something, and then they find some they find something else that they don't expect. You know, 